Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at um, differenti or, sorry, uh, c computing from first principles of the Laplace transform. Now I just realized that actually that should be a plus there. Okay, but so essentially what we're going to do here is calculate, or uh, like show that the Laplace transform of t times e to the minus 2t show that that is equal to 1 over s plus 2 squared. Okay. So this is the formula for calculating the class transforms from first principles, and that's what we are going to use. Okay. So what we do here is we have f of t there, so we actually just sub it into our formula and see if we can simplify it as much as possible. Yes, we can. Okay. So we have e to the minus 2t times e to the minus st. Essentially, all we have to do is add them together. So we have, when we add that term together and that term together, we get e to the minus s plus 2t. Okay. So I just put it in brackets there just to sort of make the s plus 2 a bit more identifiable. Okay. So, um, yeah, so what we're going to do here is integration by parts. Now, as I sort of said in a couple of other previous videos where I've done this as well, that I'm not going to sort of talk about what, or discuss what it, or try to, like, uh, describe integration by parts. Uh, hopefully, you should have sort of mastered integration by parts by the time before getting into Laplace transforms. So, but actually, just to sort of point out a few key, a few key features, uh, the Lippet rule, L I P E T rule, will sort of help us here. So let u equal to t, du dt would therefore be equal to one, and du is equal to dt. So we also need a value for v. So let dv equal to e to the minus s plus 2t dt, okay, so what we have to do is integrate that, okay, v equals the integral of that, and that is e to the minus s plus 2t over uh, minus s plus 2. Remember that because that actually comes in helpful later on, actually, so just make, put a little note beside that because we actually use that result again later on, okay, so now, what we're going to do here is 1 equals, that, that's the integration by parts formula there. So just actually, that's how we piece everything back together. Now, um, just importantly, just for the sake of keeping things nice and easy for the time being, I'm going to just disregard the definite integrals and just put them in at the end. Okay. So u times v, that is t times e to the minus s plus 2t uh, minus s plus 2. Now, actually, that does not change that much. Okay, that is a simply u times v, and actually nothing really happens with that until we get to the definite integral. All of the interesting stuff is on the integral of v du. So, what I'm going to do here, so this is a v, and that is e to the minus s plus 2 over minus s plus 2. So what I'm going to do is just filter out the minus s plus 2, or minus in brackets s plus 2, so we get... Uh, minus or plus uh, 1 over s plus 2 times this integral okay now this is the same integral that we've done before okay we actually calculated this already this is one I just mentioned before so this is actually the, that result again okay so what I'm going to do here is actually just filter out this it's 1 over s plus 2 I'm just going to filter it out uh, just to actually be careful now we had a minus by minus that became a plus now we have a plus by minus so this is going to go back to being minus later on okay and e to the minus s plus 2. Now, so we're at the definite integral phase. And I'm just going to sort of separate it up into two parts, the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So the important thing to remember here is e to the minus infinity is, this is infinity times e to the minus infinity. e to the minus infinity is actually equal to 0. So when we evaluate uh, that at t equal to infinity, we get 0. t equals 0. Well, we have t equals 0 here, so we, that also evaluates at 0. So what happens here is we get 0 minus 0. So this whole thing just cancels out to 0. The whole left-hand side just cancels out. Okay. So everything actually comes from the right-hand side. So um, what I have up here, I actually just sort of uh, s plus 2, t s plus 2, bring out the minus sign here. So I have 1 over s plus 2 Okay, so to be squared. So, and what I'm looking at specifically is this part here. So I'm going to, like, this is, sorry, there should be a T in here. I just actually dropped the ball there. So there should be a little T in there. Okay, sorry, just actually, I just actually sort of accidentally forgot to write it in. But anyway, but there it's back now. So when we evaluate T equal to infinity, we get zero. 
where you get t equal to 0, we get this becomes 1, and e to the power of 0 is 1. So we have 0 minus 1, okay, which is essentially, the, if you calculate this true, we just actually get plus 1 over s plus 2 squared. So let's just check. That is my overall final answer. Yes, it is. 1 over s plus 2 squared. That's it. Job done. Uh, again, the important thing there is actually just watching the, the, the keeping track of the negatives, okay, and so on. Okay, so we'll leave it there. That's great.